Hello, this is Out of the Blue comes Francis Zhu. I'm Francis, and welcome to my show. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of the Out of the Blue Comes Francis Zhu Show. And today I have my dear friend Svava here with me. Hi, Svava. <laughs> oh, hi, Francis. I'm I'm so happy to be here. Thank you. I'm just so honored to be on your show, and yeah, it just feels so wonderful. I, yeah, it's so precious, so holy, and yeah. Just thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Well, thank you. And I, I just know that on this pathway, we are walking hand in hand toward this goal that is not of the world. And I always know that you are someone um, that that has such a mystical heart, and just. Have this such a deep desire to to reach the deepest love and God in in your mind, and I just feel really grateful. You know, when I think of you, and when I think of this journey, when I think of the goal that we hold on this pathway, it feels. So holy. Oh, thank you. I, I, I get tears in my eyes now. I'm so grateful. Thank you so 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 much. I just I feel so honored and feel so much love for you, Francis. And it's just yeah. I don't know. It's I kind of losing my words. It's such a deep 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 gratitude in my heart. Mm -hmm. and just to be here with you and to join in, in the truth and the love of God and, and the peace, just the peace. Yeah. It's in this holy, holy instant. Yeah. yeah. I know that ever since um, I met you, you have, your life is just like uh, almost completely transformed, you know, from living with your two sons in Denmark, in a probably a sing, very simple apartment. Yes. Then all of a sudden, you came across the world, across the ocean. You 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 live with a group of people you never met, and then not only that, you went on this world travel nonstop for years. Yes. And it looks like a very um, fast-paced life. And then last year, when the pandemic hit, I know that suddenly you started to receive all these songs from the spirit, and your like your days are still very uh, much filled with fast pace of receiving and writing down what you heard. And yet, at the same time, when I see you, when I Look at you! I always know that there is a very quiet center. <laughs> <laughs> is that the experience? Well, yeah, I, I feel like you know when I really tune deep within, like like inside the inside the storm, inside the hurricane, there is this quiet center. Yeah, when I really tune into that, yeah, there is a like we all have. We all have this quiet center. Yeah, but you know, like you said, it's been a, it's been huge, a huge world for for years, and um, and then the pandemic hit, and uh, and all the travels stopped, so things got just flipped around, and uh, yeah, just to seeing a lot of um, of things in my mind in a different way that were like. A, a noise like in the storm that was like keeping me away from acknowledging or realizing the center within, but it's always there, you know. 
And this is such a beautiful opportunity here to look at everything that is blocking the way of, of, of realizing the truth, the peace, the peace within. So yeah, yeah, it's been, it's been a, it's been a ride truly. And all these songs I have received from spirit and surrendering to that and a lot of things coming up around that. Uh, you know, I used to be so shy and hiding and uh, just huge unworthiness uh, and um, all these false beliefs about myself. The ego was just like playing this this game like it like it is this part here in the world in and then our journey is to to let it all go and uh, and enter into the truth into eternity into you know the holy instant that's the leap into eternity where we truly abide you know we always are yeah mm. yeah i when i look at each and every one of us, I, I just feel marvel with the spirit's plan because the truth is that this goal that we are called for, it's so beyond anything we know. And, and yet it looks like the spirit has such a divine plan for everyone. Yeah. yeah. And a lot of the times I just... More and more, I would say that I started to see it's not us that need to do anything or need to undo anything. It's the spirit that that undoes everything for us if we just say yes to his plan. Yeah, exactly. Because even with the way the your journey unfolded, it was nothing that um, you could even imagine. No way. <laughs> If I had seen this, uh, like, in a vision or something, I would have said, oh, that is just a crazy dream. <laughs> no way. This is going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. It's such a, it's such a deep, deep journey. And like you were saying, it's, it's not us doing anything at all. It, if we try, you know, we are just falling into the ditch, really, we are not on the road. If we try anything, we just fall off. But it is this willingness, this willingness to allow spirit to unwind us from everything that is blocking us from the light. So it is the whole, it's all about the prayer, all about the willingness and accepting what comes to us. Like I was thinking about, you were saying this, this is the divine plan that, all of us, all of us have been brought together to mirror in each other so we can, so we can be free, so we can let go of everything that is blocking us. And then, yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's such a beautiful divine setup, you know, but all it takes is the yes, like you said, the yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'll do anything to to wake up. Yes, I'll do anything to be happy. And I don't know the plan. I have no idea. Mm -hmm. If I try to have any idea about it, it's never right. Never right. Yeah. Yeah. I actually, recently, I just watched a YouTube video. Um, this woman was on a show talking about her journey with Jesus. She actually is um, of a Jewish background, so she doesn't really have a conscious... Um, believe or connection with Jesus, but then uh, she got a very severe um, cancer, and I think she didn't really have much option left. So at one moment, she actually just uh, kneeled down um, at the hospital and said to said out loud something to the effect that I, I actually am not afraid of death, um, I just don't want to fight anymore. I don't want to fight mm -hmm. anymore. So if, if I am um, to live, then this life is yours, Jesus. That's what she said. This life is yours. And she meant it without any reservation. 
And that's where, um, you know, all the plans of the rest of her life started to unfold. Of course, she got healed and all that, but it's not the fact that the disease was gone was because it was more what was she living for got mm. answered. Mm. You know, this, this is a question that's underneath almost all the problems and all the decisions. What, what do we want this outcome for? So I feel, yeah, I just feel that, the, the, you know, as we're walking on this path, it is somehow without always clear on the other side but knowing that we're aiming for peace, mm. that is the goal. Yeah. Peace is the goal. And it is not ambiguous. It's not ambiguous. So I don't know the outcome of this decision or I don't know the outcome of this situation. If peace is the goal, all of us know to actually let go in mind. To say, okay, I don't want to fight anymore. Mm-hmm. Peace is my present goal. Mm-hmm. And please just, I give, I give myself to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, because spirit, it's only spirit that knows the way to peace. You can't, it's impossible to find peace. You know, Svava cannot find any peace. I'm trying. It's impossible. I would mm-hmm. not recognize it. Try to find peace in something in mm. in the world in form. It's impossible. So it has to be that it's so beyond, so beyond the world, and only spirit can guide us to that. In 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 the mind, it's like the the whole thing, whole setup, the whole world is to block us from knowing the peace. Yeah. So it's like this, like flip around. Oh wow! I don't, I don't know anything really. I truly, really like. Yeah, like it was such a beautiful uh, story you told. I got goosebumps. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't want to fight anymore. I don't want anything of this world anymore. I just want to serve you, Jesus. I want to serve you, and you know how I can be at peace. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. 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 That's beautiful. Maybe that's. I can just read a couple of paragraphs from the course just to, yeah, just to bask into Jesus' words and remind ourselves what what really this is all about. So this is from chapter 13 and section 7, Attainment of the Real World. Sit quietly and look upon the world you see and tell yourself the real world is not like this. It has no buildings and there are no streets where people walk alone and separate. There are no stores where people buy an endless list of things they do not need. It is not lit with artificial light and night comes not upon it. There is no day that brightens and grows dim. There is no loss. Nothing is there but shines and shines forever. You do not really want the world you see, for it has disappointed you since time began. The homes you built have never sheltered you. The roads you made have led you nowhere, and no city that you built has withstood the crumbling assault of time. Nothing you made but has the mark of death upon it. Hold it not dear, for it is old and tired and ready to return to dust, even as you made it. This aging, this aching world has not the power to touch the living world at all. You cannot give it that. And so, although you turn in sadness from it, you cannot find in it the road that leads away from it into another world. Leave then your needs to him. 
He will supply them with no emphasis at all upon them. What comes to you of him comes safely, for he will ensure it never can become a dark spot, hidden in your mind and kept to hurt you. Under his guidance, you will travel light and journey lightly, for his sight is ever on the journey's end, which is his goal. God's son is not a traveler through outer worlds. However holy his perception may become, no world outside himself holds his inheritance. Within himself, he has no needs. For light needs nothing but to shine in peace, and from itself to light the rays, extend in quiet to infinity. Whenever you are tempted to undertake a useless journey that would lead away from light, remember what you really want, and say, "The Holy Spirit leads me unto Christ." And where else would I go? What need have I but to awaken Him? Then follow Him in joy, with faith that He will lead you safely through all dangers to your peace of mind. This world may set before you. Kneel not before the altars to sacrifice, and seek not what you will surely lose. Content yourself with what you will. As truly keep, and be not restless, for you undertake a quiet journey to the peace of God, where He would have you be in quietness. It is so precious to have those moments that we can step out of the world and give ourselves permission just to be quiet, just to be quiet and receive. Because the spirit, the voice for God, speak very quietly. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking about the lesson in quiet. I receive God's word today.、Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it is only in the quiet, in the still mind, where you are in true communication with the Spirit.、Mm. It's it's only there. You can't you can't find it anywhere else than in the stillness of the of the holy instant.、Mm -hmm. That is, that is what the whole course is pointing us to. To communion with God, to be in alignment with God, to hear only the Spirit, hear only the the, the still voice. Yeah, where peace is. In quiet, I receive God's word today. I love that because this journey, you know, when the ego takes on the learning of the course, it wants to make it an effort to strive for something that the ego can never achieve. But in truth, this is a gentle stepping away. That's what this journey is in every moment. Is a gentle stepping away, and remembering to be just quiet, and receive, receive the words of God, receive this peace, receive this joy, receive the instructions. If any doing is called for, it comes from this quiet center.、Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. 
there is a no effort mm. if it goes into effort then we have left the holy instant the peace it is so effortless and everything is so easily given it is like um like floating down down the river <laughs> and everything like everything you need will just come at you you know when you truly truly just let go let go of any ideas about anything it was just complete surrender and and the word trust was coming in my mind it's just uh, this deep deep trust in uh, in in god in the flow just trust in that god has us that we um, we don't need to need to do anything that we are so so loved mm-hmm. it's like this um accepting that we are so loved that everything that comes to us is for for us you know because we we are on this seeming journey to go home and god wants us home you know <laughs> he's he's like waiting for us and cheering us on and yeah it's mm-hmm. such a such a surrender you know just being like a child of god and just uh, clueless and uh, completely dependent on on him mm. yeah well i i feel to play um a song of yours for the answer mm. it's really beautiful and very mystical and i just keep thinking in quiet we receive god's words today or we in quiet we receive the answer today yeah. and if we can just remember one thing then that is in spirit is everything healed is every answer given and our part is to be in quiet and receive the answer yeah <laughs> thank you <laughs>
Thank you, that was so wonderful. Yeah, so peaceful. Mm. Just the permission, you know, to know that we can step out of it all. Yeah. It's interesting, I remember that this song came to me um, when I was, I was trying to put a mystical experience into words. Mm-hmm. And... Um, it is, I was thinking about this mystical experience when I had, when I was 10 years old, mm. and um, where I asked God if I could die. And, um, and this song came to me like an, like an answer in, in a melody and, and in very simple words, but it's like a, the answer to that, that there is no death, that it's, life is eternal. Hmm. And I was thinking about in the words I sing, I'm nowhere. And I was thinking, well, nowhere and everywhere is like the same. Hmm. It's like melts in, in one that is like the oneness, like the words disappear in the, hmm. in, in the light, in the truth. Hmm. Yeah. Well, thank you for bringing that, that mystical experience and have that been expressed in melody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because I, I, I just love it. Recently, um, JP and I were talking about this film director, Terrence Malick, and his movie, because he made some amazing movies. And we're just talking about it, and, and uh, I was asking him why he loves that director so much. And he just said in a very simple way because watching his movie reminds me of my mystical experiences that was and to me that that is what we're here to do you know to reflect back this beautiful light that is alive in us and with whatever tools or channels that's given to us a smile words action and for you is beautiful melodies and lyrics to just teach but teach not in a way like teach to others but somehow teach our own mind that this is true what is alive inside this light is so far away from this world this is true and this is what we're yearning for this is what we want to be reminded of. So yeah. I'm so grateful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking it is it is amazing how everything can be used to bring us home, you know? Mm-hmm. And just to tap into and have the willingness to, to be used in that way. Like you said, it can be like a smile or just, you know, just a beautiful presence or... Whatever it is, you know, paintings or it is all about bringing, bringing the mind in alignment with God, you know, yeah. to, to remember, to remember who we are and not about, you know, a product or anything. Um, yeah. So for me, uh, you know, it was very surprising. I, I had never 
you know, learn to sing or, or anything. I always loved music, you know, use music. But uh, that was very surprising to me to start hearing these melodies and so beautiful lyrics and, you know, the ego resistance to it, like huge resistance to, no, 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 don't be going there, you know. But uh, an undoing of that belief that I am not worthy of, of God, you know, really. So the, the music has been used to, to bring me home. And, uh, yeah. It's a, uh, it's been intense, but also such a deep, deep gratitude in me to, to allow myself to to accept this, you know, and um, and sometimes I would be receiving more than one song at a time, and and you know, and that was that was spirit's way of taking me away from the from the noise, you know, the ego chatter, you know, because when I'm receiving songs, I'm, I'm so in alignment, you know, it's like the world disappears. I mean, just deep meditations and sometimes they even come in dreams and, but it's like uh, everything falls away and I'm just completely in the truth and receiving this uh, melodies and, uh, and these lyrics that are beyond this world, you know, Svava, Svava would never write anything like this mm -hmm. at all, you know. She, even you know, I haven't really tried. It could, like I knew that if Svava would try to write a song, that nothing would come. Mm -hmm. So it has been given. Mm -hmm. All of it has been given, like in the moment. Yeah, just a reminder of who I am. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's almost like a channel has opened up. You know, when when we allow our mind to to go deeper and deeper in this deep stillness to receive um, the answer yeah. of the word for God, we can't help but express it. You know, this is just because our mind is connected, so it's it's extended, and and then if we just allow the body and the action to be also used in that way, then there is no resistance. Yeah. It's just everything becoming alignment and then there is no conflict in mind. That's where peace lies, because there is no conflict. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And I, I do know that even the simple songs that you received, I always remember this, this song ever since I first heard it, I kept it in my playlist and always listen to it over and over again. And this is a song that is not even produced, no. so to speak, that is not even in your album. It's called A Beautiful Day. Mm -hmm. And the, the reason I love it so much is just because I think it, it reminds me of the simplicity of this childlike joy it's so simple, it's, it's right here at our grasp, and it doesn't take much. So close to our heart. So I want to play this song, it's, would you call it like acoustic? Yeah, yeah, I, I did like a few albums where I was just sitting and re playing the guitar some years ago and, and recording, yeah, so it's just a very simple recording. Yeah. Um, yeah, this song is going to be on the new album I'm working on. Okay. Sometime this year it will. <laughs> okay, beautiful. But, yeah. but this <clears throat> is exactly what you're saying. Like when we allow the mind to just be still and receive, even the most simple words become a carrier of that joy and that light. That's what I experienced listening to this song. Mm -hmm. I, I, re, I received the, the simple joy, the childlike wonder. Mm -hmm. It actually made me feel in wonderland. That's <laughs> why I love it so much. So mm -hmm. I want to play it for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Rising and 
thank you, Francis. Mm. I haven't heard that one for a while. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of funny, you know, listening to it really like in the moment and not thinking about it. It's Slava singing, you know, really taking it in like it's beyond the body. Um, mm. It feels so, uh, so wonderful. And I was, what was coming in my mind is when I received the song, I was at our center in Mallorca. Mm. And uh, I was sitting outside and uh, in such a, just a deep, deep gratitude for everything. And, and it's so quiet over there. It's just so still and you can hear just the birds and sometimes some sheep. But it's so, uh, there's like this um, vastness, this feeling of, you know, when you truly are in alignment with with the peace, with God, then this vastness comes in, like, you know, one with everything. And I was in that state of mind when I, when I started writing these lyrics. Um, yeah, it came, like many of the songs, they come like in an instant, very quick. Mm. Um, and any time of the day, but yeah, it was just my, my mind was in such a, such a deep stillness mm. and all this like gratitude to God came in my heart um, and uh, and it's like this a very deep prayer is to say thank you mm. just say thank you thank you thank you and that is like a, everything falls away mm. it's just this um gratefulness, just this state of grace, really it comes from a state of grace mm -hmm. yeah mm, thank you yeah, thank you for reminding reminding us of this state of grace and I feel I feel very touched every time I listen to it because it, it does hit this um this same place where I feel so grateful, this gratitude, it just reminds me of it. And also um, there is a workbook lesson called I Thank God for His Gifts to Me. Mm -hmm. And I was always really touched just by thinking about that lesson because when I, when I ponder on that lesson, I would think, what is God's gift? Oh, it's the spirit. Oh, then when I just started to think of the spirit and give my mind over to the spirit, to this light and this gentleness, this quiet voice, then I feel so grateful, so grateful. It's just that everything becomes a symphony, the bird, you know, the sheep. <laughs> Everything just feels feels so blessed that mm. we are given the answer. We're given everything if we give ourselves permission to step step back and connect with that. Mm. Feels yeah. 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 And yeah, what comes to me now is this. It is so simple, really. You mm. know, God is so simple. The simplicity. Um, it's in the simplicity. Everything is there. You know, all answers. And the answer is truly peace, you know. Yeah. The answer is peace. Mm. Yeah, thank you, Slava. Thank you for blessing us with the words and the songs, they're just so, so deep and uh, really, really beautiful. And I really want to end this episode with another song of yours called The Light of Truth, because um, they all feel so mystical to me. And I feel so grateful to be able to bask in, just in that. So, mm -hmm. oh. 
Thank you, Francis. It's it's uh, it's been such an honor to to be here with you. Truly, I'm I'm like I have no words. I'm so I'm so grateful. I just have tears in my eyes and just mm. I'm just happy. Mm. Just happy. Mm. Thank you. Thank you for sharing this holy holy moment with me. Yeah. Mm. Thank you, Suava. Thank you, everyone, for joining both of us. Yeah, thank you so much, everyone, for being here with us. So, the light of truth. Time has come to say